everyone. So today we're going to talk about um, calculating effective addresses within the LC3 data path. So first we're going to review what memory addressing modes are. So if you remember from class, memory addressing modes can be defined as ways to encode memory addresses within an instruction. So this is necessary to do because in the LC3, the instruction size is 16 bits. And the size of an address is also 16 bits. So if we wanted to um, have an instruction that would say, that would maybe like load some data from memory into a register. We would need four bits for the opcode, three for the register, and we would have only nine left to express the address. So uh, memory addressing modes are going to be something that we use to get, uh, sorry, get the whole 16-bit address stored into one instruction. So there are, in the LC3, we have three different memory addressing modes. So we have direct or PC relative. That's used in load, store, um, and LEA, and more instructions. And then we have indirect, which is used in LDI and STI. And then we have base plus offset, which is used in LDR and STR. So before we go over the address calculations for these memory addressing modes on the data path, uh, let's write out the effective address for each of these types. So for direct or PC relative, we're going to have an effective address of the contents of the PC plus the sign extended PC offset 9. This part right here, you might also see it as the instruction register bits 8 through 0. So it means the same thing. So for indirect, the effective address is going to be the memory of the contents of the PC plus the sign extended PC offset 9. And lastly, the effective address for the base plus offset addressing mode is going to be the contents of the base register plus the sign extended offset 6, which you might also see as the instruction register bits 5 through 0.